The flyer I'm working on is almost done. I've typed up everything I want to include about the neighborhood block party. The only thing missing? Pictures. Adding pictures is a great way to make your document more fun and interesting. To get started, place your cursor roughly where you want the image to go. Then, click the image command on the toolbar. I already know the picture I want to use first. It's a graphic I have saved to my computer, so uploading it should be pretty easy. Just click Upload from Computer, select the image you want, then click Open. The image will appear in your document. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you'd like to add an image but don't have anything suitable on your computer, good news. Google Docs gives you several different ways to find and add images from other sources. Let's go back to the image menu. Under the option that says By URL, you can add an image from the web by pasting the address in this box. Then click Insert. If you have any photos stored in your Google account, you can find them under Photos or Drive. This includes files and folders that other people have shared with you. For the flyer I'm working on, though, I have a very specific picture in mind, something we haven't seen yet. So I'm going to use the Search the Web option. Here you can use Google Docs to find images on the web. To search, just type what you're looking for in the box. The idea behind this feature is that you're free to use any of the images you find here under something called a Creative Commons license. That means you can add them to your documents, print them, modify them, whatever you want. However, just to be safe, it's important to go to the source of the image and check the copyright license. You want to make sure you're not breaking any rules, not even by mistake. To learn more about an image, click the magnifying glass in the lower right corner. This one is licensed for commercial use, which means if I wanted to use it on my flyer, that would be okay. At the top of the window, there's a link to the original image, which should have more information about the license. To insert an image, all you have to do is select it, then click the button near the bottom of the window. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to move and resize your image so it suits your needs. To resize it, I'm just going to select the image, then click and drag one of these sizing handles. To maintain the image's proportions, use the sizing handles in the corners. Next, I'm going to change the position of the image from inline to wrap text. This causes the text to wrap around the image and also makes it much easier to move. The right imagery can really make your document pop. Whether you choose to search for images or use your own photos and graphics, Google Docs gives you many ways to transform your work into something unique. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.